and welcome to the video. Today I want to talk a little bit about counting macros. Um, you might have heard this spoke about quite a lot uh, it's, and you've never actually understood what it means. It's basically a fancy way of saying counting all the food that you put into your body. Uh, when people probably hear that, that counting all the food that you put into your body, it probably turns a lot of people away because they think it's really challenging to do something like this. But I've done this for each one of my competitions. The first competition that I did, I uh, for the first six weeks of dieting, I didn't track anything. And then I was reading up about it, and then I started doing it, and I couldn't believe the difference that it made. So yeah, that's why I want to talk about it. It's really powerful stuff, and it's not uh, not hard to do at all. So if you want to, if, if you're looking to lose weight, and you've tried a lot of things, but you've not tried this yet, uh, yeah, watch this video and I'm going to talk you through how to do it, pros and cons, and yeah, hope you enjoy. So, the only three things that you need to do this, um, you don't need much at all really. All you need is your phone because there's an app on there to track it, I'll uh, talk you through that in a minute. Um, you need some food weighing scales. Um, these were seven quid, I think, from the cheap shop. And then you need some actual weighing scales to weigh yourself. The benefit of doing this uh, is unbelievable because if you weigh yourself every morning and you're also tracking what you're putting into your body, you really start to see what food and what your body sort of reacts to because your body can hold on to water. You, you can react different to different types of food, but. If you're tracking what you're eating, you're weighing yourself every day, you can see like spikes and in body weight and things like that. So yeah, they're the only three things that you need. Okay, so all you really need to know is how to track what protein, fat and carbs you are eating. So the best way to do this is to download an app called MyFitnessPal. It's really simple, download it, you go through all the things in there. You, you put your weight down, you put your height, you put how active you are, be as honest as you can because you'll only be cheating yourself. Uh, so yeah, download the app and once you've downloaded the app, it'll tell you what, what amount of calories to eat. You can either follow that or you can set them yourself because if you're eating the same amount every day, you're weighing yourself every day, you'll soon see if you're losing weight or not. So I recommend using their calories that they give you and then playing about with how much protein you eat, how much fat you eat, how much carbs you eat. I say this because when I diet, I keep my fats quite low and I put my carbs higher. So when I diet, I usually eat around 50 grams of fat a day and then my carbs vary depending on if I'm losing weight or not. So if I'm not losing weight, I'll drop my carbs a little bit. And it's, yeah, it's that simple really. I do this, I, I do that because I eat a lot. I've got a big, big appetite. And I find that if I put my carbs high, I can get a lot more volume of food in. So that's a tip right there. Um, yeah, so fill out all the things on Fitness Pal, my Fitness Pal, uh, and then it'll tell you how many calories to eat a day. You can either use that or use your own. I'd stick to the same amount of calories for one week, the first week, weigh you in every day, and then see see how your weight is fluctuating. So how do you track your food? Uh, it's really quite simple. Once you get in the app, uh, it'll come up and you can add your breakfast in, you can add your lunch in, tea, snacks. Um, there's also a bit where you add your exercise in. I don't recommend doing this because you end up eating more. You just want to keep it very consistent uh, and then you'll, you'll soon tell if you're weighing yourself every morning whether you're putting on weight or you're losing weight, whether you need to drop your calories. It's really that simple. So how do you track your food? Most food, uh, most items of food have a barcode on. So if you were to this, if you were to eat this pot of rice, muller rice, um, all you'd have to do, you'd go on the app, you'd click in the top right corner on the barcode, <coughs> you'd scan it, you'd put in, if you're eating a full one, it'll come up 180, I think, 180 gram. So that's a full one, you tick yes, and then you put that in, and it'll show you how many how much protein, how much carbs, how much fat you've had in one of them. You can, you can literally do this with anything. Scan, scan the barcode again with a steak. 
reason I've got some food, uh, uh, some meat out is because when you're doing meat, you need to either do it uncooked or cooked. So make sure if it says cooked, weigh it cooked. If it says uncooked, weigh it uncooked. It's not hard to be honest. Also, if you're eating something like oats or cereal or anything, rice, you all you have to do is weigh it out. Again, make sure if it's cooked or uncooked. Put your bowl on your scales, zero them, and then put your oats in. It's really, it is really not that hard, and it's really powerful stuff. So that's pretty much the basics of tracking food. If you want to watch some other videos, there are people really that go in depth on how to do all this. So just search them on YouTube. But yeah, that's pretty much the fundamentals of tracking <coughs> tracking your food. Okay, so the pros of tracking your food or counting your macros. Uh, the big pro for it, for me, in my experience, um, you're not limited to eating the same thing every day. Uh, you can figure out ways of eating more food on less calories. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a flexible. It's also called flexible dieting because it is that you can use whatever you want. If you want something nice, uh, something a bit fatty, you can have that, and then for the rest of the day or for the next meals, you can substitute and. Really, you can really experiment really, it's really good. When you get into the routine of doing this as well, it, for the first week of doing it, it is quite hard, uh, but you soon pick it up. And then once you've put the food in, it automatically saves it. So the next time you come to do it, and you can save meals as well. So the next time you come to do things, you can put the same as last time. And just, if you do find something that you're enjoying, um, yeah, uh, you can eat them as much as you want. So. Well, not as much as you want, as long as you're in your calories. But yeah, so set yourself uh, some calories. Go through my fitness pal. Um, work out what you're gonna eat. Set it. I'd eat the same thing for about a week. Do that for a week. See how you're feeling. And then, if you need to change them up, if you're not losing weight, take 20 carb, grams of carbs out a day. That's sort of how I use it really. If um, if you have had a good week, this is what I do anyway. I've got quite a fast metabolism, so if I've had a good week and I've lost two or three pounds, which is sort of what I want to, if I've lost four or five pounds maybe, I'll have a cheat day, uh, it'll boost my metabolism, uh, but yeah, I could do a full video on cheat days, so um, look out for that one. But I really recommend tracking macros, it is brilliant, it, it does take a bit of getting used to, that's probably the con about it. Um, it does take a bit of getting used to, but as soon as you get used to it, it's so easy to do and it's such a like, valuable tool. Even if you do it for a week, you really find out a lot of um, portion sizes, really, because you think you're eating something in, moder in moderation, and then you realise cereal was a big one for me. Uh, you realise that one serving of cereal isn't a lot when you weigh it out. Um, but yeah, you'll find ways of, tra you can track anything, any, any food you want. Uh, you can also, you can go out and eat at McDonald's and you can still track it. You can squeeze them into your calories sometimes, but maybe save them for cheat days, <coughs> if that's what you're doing. Um, so yeah, hopefully you found this video um, interesting. And I'd really go out there and give it a go because it's such a powerful tool if you are wanting to lose weight, obviously. If not, I wouldn't bother tracking your food. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about next, but yeah, we're looking out for it. Peace out.